Okay, so Stranger Things Season 4 ends with the biggest cliffhanger in the show's history. There's a storm coming, and Season 5 is set to be the final entry of the Netflix phenomenon. All the pieces of the game are now on the board, and we not only know who the villain is, but also what they're after. It also seems like they've won as well, due to the doorway to hell being unleashed on Hawkins. We are told throughout Season 4 that if Vecna kills Max, then the final sacrifice will be complete, and he'll be able to unleash the Dark Dimension on the unsuspecting city. This is why the gateway opens, as technically he does kill her, even though she's brought back. And that kind of takes me into my first theory, which is that Vecna likely has Max's soul, and getting it back will be the way to close the doorway. Theory time is getting a little bit played out now, so we're completely scrapping that for this video, and coming up with a totally new, unseen idea. It's incredible how creative we are at the channel, and it's now hypothesis time, hypothesis time, hypothesis time. Shout out to Ryuk here for that one, and I think that all those that have died in the Upside Down might exist within Vecna in some way. Huge thank you to Reddit user Ezra88 who pointed out that after Henry killed all the kids in the lab, that he said they weren't gone, they were there with him in his mind. Very important line, and this could hint at those he kills being able to come back in some form or another. Now the most obvious person I think this would apply to is of course Max. When we last left her, she was in a non-responsive coma, stuck in a hospital bed. The doctors couldn't explain how she'd managed to come back to life, and upon entering her mind, Elle saw that it was about as empty as the Pope's Tinder account. Ha <laughs> She's just not there, but the fact that she's still ticking could mean that Vecna has taken her soul. Now I've already done a full video breaking down how Vecna might be inside her, using her body as a vessel to sustain his life after his last one's destruction. I don't want to just go over that again, but it will be linked on screen right now if you want to see us break it all down. Anyway, moving on, in the complete opposite direction to that, if Max is inside Vecna's mind, she could end up coming back to her body after his defeat. However, she could also potentially roam around in there too, and she may even come across the other kids from the lab that are trapped there as well. All these psychic beings could end up teaming up with Eleven, and it might actually lead to Vecna's downfall if they all work together. There was this big section in the season where they talked about how Max actually managed to enter Vecna's mind at the Creel house, and this is how she escaped, hinting at this potentially coming back around. Huge shout outs to Thing's story for also theorising that if bad memories kill someone, that happy memories could be used to also bring them back. In his Ending Explained video, he went over how we got a lot of focus on Max's memories, and how they may be weaponised to resurrect her down the line. Now if Max counts as the final sacrifice that opened the doorway, then bringing her fully back to life may also mean that the ritual gets reversed. That seems to be the main reason why the dimensions start to tear across the town, and therefore if she's fully resurrected, it should start to close it off. The portals in the area appear at the spots that his victims were killed, and this includes things like Eddie's trailer, the road, the lake, and the attic in the Creel house. Their bodies are also strung up in Vecna's home, so potentially saving characters like this could bring them back and close the portals. This idea of characters coming back is also being heavily discussed in the case of Eddie. Guy played his final concert in the series, and he was killed by the Demobats in the last episode. I've seen tons of fan theories for how he's alive on my videos, including that their poison only paralyzes people, how he could have ended up being trapped in Vecna, and a lot more. I do think he's dead, but Joseph Quinn who plays Eddie also had some ideas for how he could come back when talking to the Radio Times. He said that both he and Joe Keery had been firing ideas backwards and forwards, and he said that they'd come up with a few. This included a supernatural element like him being resurrected in the Upside Down, or even something as simple as him just appearing as a vision in Dustin's mind. Because of this, I think he could be brought back in the same way that Billy returned. If we look at Dustin, he fits the mould of being one of Vecna's victims. Like Max, he likely harbours a lot of guilt over Eddie's passing. Just like how Billy ended up being the reason that Vecna was able to strike, this could end up being the case in Dustin. If this ends up being true, then Eddie could end up being used as a way to taunt him. Let me know below if you agree or not, and if you're enjoying the video so far, then please hit the thumbs up button, and also don't forget to subscribe for videos like this almost every day. If this is your first time here, then welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Paul, now let's get into the rest of the Stranger Things theories. Now I also think that we might have got a hint towards one of the upcoming monsters for the fifth season. Stranger Things has kept up the idea that they're all somewhat tied to Dungeons and Dragons, and this is something that's happened throughout each entry. In the 8th episode, Will ends up showing Mike a painting, and this has a three-headed dragon on it. I actually think this might be teasing what's coming down the line, and the battle that we see playing out here could end up being brought into live action for the show. 
According to Dungeons & Dragons lore, this could be the creature Tiamat, a multi-headed dragon based on the god of the same name who appeared in Eternals. Although Vecna is the big bad, now that the Mind Flayer has been downgraded a bit, I think they need to bring in something new to work as one of his ways to attack Hawkins. There was also the stranger things that Steve and Co kept hearing in the Upside Down. At multiple points they heard weird noises that could be foreshadowing this beast's arrival. This would be a great way to set that up and hopefully we get something along those lines come the next season. Also Will, just tell him mate yeah? Just tell him, we all know, everyone knows. Now Will could also be instrumental in defeating Vecna as he clearly still has a connection to him. Whilst everyone was celebrating his downfall, Will is the only one who says he's still alive and he gets the chill on the back of his neck before the dark clouds roll in. Now there's one of two possibilities, either he will be used as a way to track and weaken Vecna or he might end up becoming a vessel for him. It's often been brought up how the Mind Flayer didn't want to kill Will, he wanted to kill everyone around him. Gemstone20 on YouTube touched upon how Vecna could end up wanting to use Will as his next body because he's desperate to return to the right side up. After his last body was destroyed, he could end up attempting to possess Will and Vecna in Dungeons and Dragons was actually a wizard that was capable of doing this. Vecna could possibly be existing in the Shadow Particles right now and he might have taken on the Mind Flayer form now that he's free from a physical body. He of course spent hours doodling him and he was fascinated with spiders. Makes sense that he tried to take this on in the end because the kid, he just bloody loves them. Now there's also a lot of theories at the moment floating around that Henry is Eleven's biological father which explains how she has her abilities. I think the whole real dad twist is kind of getting overdone a bit recently and though I like it in the boys, Star Wars and so on, I hope they avoid it with this. It is important to bear in mind as well that Eleven's dad already has the in canon name of Andrew Rich. Plus I'm sure Henry was taken to Brenner's lab as a kid and that's where he stayed until we meet him later on in the series. I doubt he was hitting up the town and getting women pregnant, so you kids, yeah, you take your bloody fan theories and you shove them up your Now lastly is the idea that the group might have to use time travel to defeat Vecna. In many ways we've had nods to this throughout the season as the clock has appeared at numerous points and there's been a big focus on the past and present. Hell, even the Upside Down is stuck in 1983, aka the day that Will entered the Upside Down. So technically going back there is like stepping back into the past and there may be ways inside of it to reverse time further back than that. Very little is known about the dimension and when we see Vecna first exploring it, it looks completely different to how we typically know it. Time is a weird thing in the Upside Down that definitely doesn't work the same way as it does for us, so I do kind of hope that they start exploring that. There might even be a case of reversing time in some way to stop Vecna when he's younger and they might even travel back to the day that he was sent to the Upside Down and stop him from going to it. This would reverse all the events, kind of f the show, but that might be the way to stop him and, and bring everyone back because that's, that's what we really care about. Now we also think that Eleven will fly next time as there's been a lot of talk about this. Mike said it, Brenner's said it, and there's also the Supergirl reference that pops up in the finale. Clearly hints towards this and this might be how she travels through the upside down at great speeds. Anyway, that's the end of hypo Hypothesis Time and I'd of course love to hear your thoughts below. Also, Steve, he's gonna f Nancy. Now the series is rumoured to be returning in 2024, so there's plenty of time to talk about what we think may happen. We're running a competition right now and giving away three copies of Everything Everywhere all at once on the 15th of July, and all you have to do to be on the chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe with notifications on, and drop a comment below with your thoughts and theories. We pick the comments at random on the 15th, and the winners of the last one are on screen right now, so if that's you, then message me on Twitter at Heavy Spoilers. If you want to watch that Max Vecna video, then that will be linked on screen right now, so go head over there right after this. Out of the way, thanks for sitting through this. I've been Paul, I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.